Bammies here with another Let's Read and Find Out Science. And what science to begin with? Where do chicks come from? This, this book is by Amy E. Shankly, illustrated by Palm Pepperone. So, the question of the day is, where do chicks come from? Well, this book will, will tell you everything about chicks and how they hatch one of their mothers. And look at this. This is a chick, right? What is faithful mother a chicken? Now let's get started reading. You can uh, take a picture of this and read it. I'm not going to read it because my mom's iPhone is running out of battery, guys. This is a picture of the chickens and the chicks. We got the roosters and the dad. It's a weird looking chicken. It's a weird looking chicken. It's a weird looking chicken, bro. Now, on to the main course. Where do chicks come from? Where do chicks come from? This is an egg right over here. You've seen eggs before, but this one is different. In three weeks, a chick will hatch out of this egg. Amazing. It's magic. An egg begins as a tiny white spot inside the mother chicken, the hen. There may be maybe many tiny eggs inside the hen at one time. A yellow yolk grows around each egg. Unfertilized eggs, right over here. Yolk begins to grow over here. So it these are unfertilized eggs. One by one, they go to yolk begins to grow station. Next, we got a bilbum forms around fertilized eggs. The one by one, like this one, goes over here. Shell, and this here will be a shell developing. And this is the where it comes from, the bark hole. I shouldn't say that. Then the father chicken, the rooster, mates with the hen. His sperm joins the growing egg. This is called fertilization. Soon, a clear jelly like egg white or alum grows around the yolk. It's like shell. It's like the shell. Finally, a hard shell forms. The egg is ready to be laid, but not yet. Keep in mind, don't say bark hole in front of children. Especially when you are a child. Right, guys? The hen lays the egg. Over the next few days, she lays several more eggs. That's right, guys. Sorry, that was just the door. Don't mind that. Makes more several eggs. The hen sits on top of the eggs to keep them warm. As soon as the eggs were are warm, the chicks start growing inside the egg, not uh, in the egg. Not um, in her. Inside the warm egg is everything. Is everything a chick needs to grow? The yellow yolk contains liquid food right over here. This is the egg, right? This is the yolk. A thin white skin grows around the yolk and album sticks to the inside of the shell. It holds the album, album together to, to, to cushion the growing chick. So, this is a hard shell. This is a hard, thin, wet skin, as you may call a shell. The album contains water and a little more food right over here. This is the album. 
At one end of the egg is an air space. This is where the chick will take its first breath. Right over here. This little space for it to breathe. The egg you eat for breakfast could never go into a chick because it was never fertilized. Otherwise, all parts inside the egg are the same. So this is a chick egg. This is the morning egg. Don't get confused, okay? One step. Here, here's a quick easy tip. The eggs with the chicks inside, the hens will uh, will warm them. And eh, but the eggs we eat, the hens don't put them under to keep them warm because they don't need to be warm. There, that's how you know what are chicks' eggs or eggs we eat. Then the hen, hen has worn the eggs for three days now. Inside, the chicks are growing. Right over here, the little babies. These are the babies. They're growing. Growing. Day three. The chick looks like the letter, letter C. A dark spot in the middle. Here, this is the chick. Dark spot. Right over there, you can't see it, but I don't know if you see it or not. This spot is its heart, guys. It's its pumping little heart, little tiny heart. The heart pumps blood. The blood carries water and food from the chick yolk and album to grow to the growing chick that starves for its entire life. I don't know. The chick. Waste collects in a small sack. Day five, the chick's head is now half as big as, as its body, and its eyes are very, very large. Its tail has begun to grow, wings and legs are forming. Barefully, the hen leaves the eggs to find food and water. She quickly returns to the to warn them again, cause you can't leave your kids lying around too uh, too long, else they might get kicked up by a fox or something. Day seven, getting close. The chick is only one inch long, about as long as your big toe. Even so, it is already starting to look like a chicken or you could say chick the chick's eyes stomach brain and toes have started to grow a beak has started to grow too but it is very soft not not, not, not like the hens because it's a little baby chick just wait the chick's wing are folded across its chest. Day 10, we're getting into shape, guys. Every day, the chick uses up more of the food from the yolk. The chick lies on its back inside the egg. It wings, its wings, legs, and beak are fully grown. Oh, the sweet little you so cute. So this is his eye. Head, like, like, like you wings. Sometimes the hen turns the egg over. She keeps them warm on all sides. I mean, like on all sides. Day one, perfect side. Next, lick my egg sunny side up. Mm. Day eleven, the chick has open and clothes can open and close its beak now, guys. It wiggles and bends within the album. Tiny bumps appear all over the chick's skin. In a few days, others will grow from the from these bumps. Just, just wait. Day 14, we moved to, to uh, day three, and now we got day 14. The chick is tightly curled 
inside the egg. It turns to lie on its side as the chick uses up more and more of the yolk and alum. The waste bag expands. The chick has grown a special bump on its on on the end of its beak. This is called the egg tooth. You see, this is the beak, right? And we got the little tiny bump right over there. The hen clucks softly and turns her egg again. The chick. Are learning to recognize the sound of their mother's voice. The hen no longer leaves her eggs. She will not eat or drink again until they have hatched. Then they could could go、uh, out dinner, staking. I bet the rooster is paying, cause you know. Oh, day three. Today, fourteen. Today is now day eighteen. The chick has grown so big that it touches the the inside of the shell on every single side. Of the shell on every side, soft feathers calm. Down, cover its head and body, right over here. The chick uses up the last of the yolk. The yolk will give the chick energy to hatch, and then rest for a few days without eating. You can live without a few days without eating, right? Right, and then you'll get on get dinner steak. Day twenty. Oh my God. The chick praises breathing. In one day, it will hatch inside the egg shell. The chick, the chick, peeks a hole into the air space. At the end of the egg, it takes its first breath and goes cheep cheep cluck cluck. Answers the hen. Oh, finally, finally, the day. This dude will hatch. What a great success we have been! Great, great. I'm sorry. I put my hands in. I know this is the popping star. The next day, the chick peeks a tiny hole in the shell using that its egg tooth. That's why it's used for that. Okay, she has been there. This is tough work for the chick. It's like an exercise before you born. After making the hole, the chick sleeps for a few hours. Just a few. Ooh! When the chick wakes up, it peeks for hours. It it peeks for hours. It peeks a circle around the inside of the shell. Next, it pushes hard against the side of the shell with its feet. Then it it pushes hard against the other side with its neck and shoulders. Crack! The chick has hatched. The shell and and the dried up waste sack fall away. The chick doesn't need its egg to. And more in a few days, it will fall off. It's like day twenty-two. Oh, the chick is tired. It rests its wobbly legs as the other chicks finish hatching.、Uh, this one's the first one. Next day, Minius. The hen fluffs her feathers and speaks, spreads her wings to cover and warn their, her new chicks. The babies nestle close to their mother and sleep as they rest. Their down dries.
Their legs and necks grow stronger. And also, they're fluffy, so cute. Look at them. We think hairy animals are so cute. Oh, finally! Finally! You could eat with your mother. Where's the dad? Where's the rooster? Has he gone to Canada? Hours later, the fluffy chick is, is the first to run out of of out from breath its mother's wings the others soon fall together the hen and her new chicks search for food in the the barnyard for tiny little seeds oh we got the end of the book so you can uh, Pause the video. I'm gonna pause for you to uh, take a picture. Pause. Mm, we're okay. Chicks. Where the chicks went? If you have this book, play this video again and read it with me. Okay? Bye.